today's headlines. Near East ranks as top university in six academic field. Near East University developed a rapid PCR test with artificial intelligence. Near East Genetic Lab deciphers genetic codes using 400 different tests. Teal to be converted into a maritime history museum. Near Easters, I have a question for you. Do you sometimes just have that feeling of pride just because you are a student of this school? Kekele, do you? Of course, Miracle, I do. I mean, who would it? Who wouldn't feel proud that the university is breaking grounds internationally and ranking among top universities globally? Well, to fully understand what we're talking about, here's a little bit of a context. Times Higher Education a publié le classement des différentes universités dans le monde pour 2023 et voici la bonne nouvelle dans six différentes catégories académiques, en savoir l'informatique, l'ingénierie, la science de vie et sociale et ainsi la santé. Nias Université fait, et fait partie de meilleures universités dans le monde. Well, here is a breakdown in figures for you. In computer science, NIR is ranked top 175 globally, and it is the only university in the TRNC to be included in that list. You think that's mind-blowing? There's more. In the field of engineering, it ranked first among TRNC universities, it listed as second among 42 universities in Turkey, and globally, it made top 200 on the list. Dans le domaine de l'éducation, l'IAS Université est parmi 500 mondialement et aussi dans le domaine de la santé, l'IAS fait partie de 600 premières universités dans le monde et ainsi encore l'université dans le domaine de sciences de vie et sciences sociales, il se situe entre, dans la bande de 601 et 800 universités dans le monde. Wow. Miracle, ça devient fou En ce classement mondial, Nias Université, elle est parmi la première vue des universités turques et de la République turque de Chypre du Nord. Waouh Je n'ai pas dit deuxième ni troisième, mais Nias Université, elle est première. It sure does feel good to be called number one. But more than my pride, I am very eager to see how Near Easters on campus reacts to this news. Kekela, what do you say we go out on campus and get the students' reaction to this amazing news? Yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, hello, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, monsieur. Nias Université est placée parmi la première université dans les universités turques et parmi les universités de la Chypre du Nord. C'est qu -ce quoi vos impressions par rapport à ça? Oui, j'ai appris la nouvelle. Je suis tellement content que Nias soit parmi des universités. Wow, je suis vraiment tellement content et puis en étant étudiant ici à Niaris, c'est notre fierté et puis la fierté de la Turquie ici et notre pays ici, Chypre du Nord. I'm excited, I'm elated and I think now we can now compete with other global universities. Yeah. Wow, that was a lot of excitement on campus. Well, hold tight because something even more exciting happened and we'll be telling you all about it when we get back. Et voici de retour, l'intelligence artificielle, les algorithmes développés par Niers Université peuvent diagnostiquer le Covid-19 en quelques secondes. Il a été prouvé que ce système fonctionne avec une précision de 100% par les experts expérimentés en, bio, en microbiologie moléculaire. Et il peut identifier le test PCR comme positif comme aussi faible, négatif ou négatif et incertain. Exactly. This is significant because in order to analyze PCR tests in a short time, experienced laboratory staff was needed. And during the pandemic, this caused a great strain on the health system. 
However, with this new artificial intelligence algorithm developed by NetEast University, PCR results can be determined in seconds without the need for human intervention. This is a blessing for science. I met up with one of the co-designers, Dr. Bouquet, in order to find out more about this revolutionary system to find out its value for people, health, and society in general, and this is what she had to say. So if you can just come with me, I'll show you how PCR works. I'll just get this. <laughs> yeah. So here we can see um, uh, one of the PCR machines that we used uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, this is an RT-PCR um, machine, which means that any samples that we take from uh, a patient, so a nasopharyngeal sample, uh, we would um, put it into the uh, system. So uh, we do the analysis by looking individually at each um, patient sample. We do have controls such as uh, negative and positive controls. Um, so the system that we developed um, actually helped us, if you can see all these data points, um, you would need a personnel to come and sit down and analyze this data by looking at all the parameters. So we said, rather than having one personnel sitting here for an hour and analyzing the data, uh, we can develop and use uh, an artificial intelligence system to help us do this automatically. Amazing. <laughs> so how accurate is this diagnosis? Since we have already tested these data points, um, after we allocated the classification, then we asked the system, can you do this for us? And we have checked what the, the actual AI has done. We have actually seen that it works about 99% uh, correctly. So that was amazing for us. <laughs> so the system that we have developed basically is able to test not only for COVID-19, but also for other respiratory pathogens. Um, so since we can apply this technology to many other pathogens, um, it is also great for us to test other infectious disease agents. Amazing. Okay? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sure. Okay. Can we get a question? Oui, nous pouvons tous être d'accord que ce système facilitera une manière de lutter contre Covid-19 et nous remercions, nous disons un grand merci à l'équipe d'avoir passé ou d'avoir mis cela et rendu cela possible à notre portée. Maintenant, passons à d'autres sujets très importants. As the saying goes, every successful career starts with a single step. At the Near East University Faculty of Medicine's 2022-2023 academic year opening and white shirt wearing ceremony, 250 medical candidates took that first step in their medical career by wearing their white shirts. This ceremony was held at the Attitude Culture and Congress Center. Lors de la cérémonie qui a commencé par une mine de silence et le chant de l'hymne national, le stagiaire Dr Suleiman Godze et le stagiaire Dr Okan Ertnissi ont donné un bref concert de musique aux invités. Après les discours, le serment qui a été prononcé par les étudiants a été lu par le professeur Dr Gamzeng Mokan. Après la lecture du serment, le candidat médecin a commencé leur formation médicale en portant leur blouse en bouche. Oh, look at them here. All dressed neat, professional and ready to begin a successful academic career. Notably, this institution has graduated 1,800 doctors in nine terms so far. So without a doubt, our 250 doctor candidates and their medical careers has been left in good hands. Since we are already talking about the medical field, why not I use this opportunity to let you know about the happenings at Near East Hospital. Grâce à la technologie moderne, le laboratoire de diagnostic génétique de Niers Université a pu proposer près de 400 tests aux différents patients. Kekele, definitely, I call this nothing short of a blessing because thanks to these extended test strains, different common and genetic diseases can be determined. Also, 
Genetic factors underlying recurrent miscarriages and unhealthy baby births are also determined. Furthermore, for oncology, hematology, cardiology, and neurology patients, drug susceptibility tests are used to determine the effectiveness of their treatments depending on the right usage of drugs and is appropriate dose. Miracle, oui. Voulez-vous connaître la meilleure partie de cela? La technologie moderne utilisée par le laboratoire de génétique peut donner ou on peut obtenir le résultat encore en Twitter, juste deux jours. Just two days, I mean. Quelqu'un like this is near East University that we're talking about. We expect nothing short for excellence. They always aim for excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come a long way. But before you leave, we have one more exciting news to share with you. So you better stick around because we save the best for last. Welcome back. If you've made it this far, we are truly grateful. Well, we have one more interesting thing on our plate to share with you. In case many of you don't know, Teal, which is Cyprus' first floating ship museum, which was placed in a special area built in Kyrenia Harbor, will be converted into a maritime history museum. For many of us that don't know, Cyprus is one of the most significant ports for seafarers because of its location at the heart of the Eastern Mediterranean. And with this um, initiative of the Near East Enterprise, it will be getting the Maritime History Museum. Le Musée d'Histoire Maritime Thiel, qui accueillera plus de 5000 documents tels que des objets maritimes, des maquettes, des navires, des cartes nautiques, des images de photographie a été placé dans la zone de spéciale construite dans le port de Kairenia lors d'une magnifique cérémonie. La construction de cette zone spéciale, la construction de cette zone spéciale a été réalisée par les ingénieurs ou l'entreprise de Niarest. A significant part of this construction was carried out on the water. 3500 cubic meters of concrete was constructed on the water which is 56 meters long. 10 meters wide and 4 meters deep. Well, this was truly a lot of hard work for the team, but they got it done, and today we celebrate their massive accomplishment. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, si vous êtes arrivés jusqu'ici, nous espérons que vous avez été fascinés par ces récents événements ou développements que nous avons pu partager avec vous. And I hope you will come back next month for more updates. This is Near East Today, and my name is Miracle. I speak English, and he is? Je suis Pierrot Kéké. He speaks. Yeah, he speaks French. We'll see you next time here. <laughs>